another dead gator. It's uh, day four, right down from camp. This might have maybe a little bit bigger. Um, might not have been so uh, eager to jump in the water and have a bath last night. I mean, there are more gators here, but that's a gator. Dead gator number two. Day four. Another dead gator on the banks. Yeah, from dead gator city here. Two in the last mile. It's a beautiful day four, and some people have said you've just floated down the river uh, with the wind. I sometimes actually go upriver. This is as fast as you float down this river. It's all bad. There's a gator swimming right to left, coming out into the water. What the fuck is that? That don't look right, does it? This is about uh, 50 yards past the dead beaver. Some kind of scum coming out, and I don't know, maybe a broken pipe underneath the the river. Ooh, that's appetizing. Either that or the kraken, maybe. Does the kraken come from here? Maybe not. Nice. All right, that's the end of day four. That's some kind of old pier somebody must have built a long time ago and it's gone. Went almost all the way across the river. The river is way down. Um, did about 30 miles a day. 20 miles is what I've been doing per day, but 20 miles put me right at the beginning of the city of Dublin, which I didn't want to camp in the city. And there's some kind of weird, uh, pollution generation thing there that I want to get away ways from that so I went another 10 miles extra to get to a better camp spot and that's this spot here um, keep having to switch cameras because the batteries go dead before I can charge them or whatever um, this is like nice and this is there's bugs here but not nearly as many bugs as the last two places the last two places were awful 
Um, seen a bunch of gators today, tons of gators. One big one at the very beginning of the day, and then uh, a couple dead ones, and then a bunch of little ones. So, but I don't know if you can pick this up or not. These are all, I think, gator slides down to the water, and that looks like a big fucking gator. Just, oh, I guess he just lives here. And uh, I'm gonna camp right over there, so maybe I'll have a snuggle buddy tonight. Um, I think I may be able to get out tomorrow. I'm at 93.7 total miles for this trip, four days in. I'd like to find a ramp tomorrow maybe to get out and call Prissy to come get me, but if I don't, it'll be to the bridge and so pretend that'll be another at least two days. So, uh, got enough food, pump my water, gonna make some dinner, and uh, managed to stop by a convenience store right off the bridge in uh, Dublin, pick me up some Kanga Bears. So, uh, good times to be had tonight. River's changed all the way through. This has been pretty cool. It's like changing ecosystems as you go down. It's pretty cool. A little bit of 100 mile gear. The MSR International multi fuel stove. This thing has worked like a champ. Burn this off, then we'll light the lighter. Another great piece of kit GSI kettle. I don't know if you're camping with a bunch of people, it probably won't work, but for one dude, this is where it's at. This, this, dehydrated meals, you're in there like swimwear. <laughs>